Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise first one to standing order number 53-1 to seek for a statement from the Standing Committee on Health on the construction of on the construction status of health facilities in informal settlements in Nairobi City County. In the statement, the committee should list the health facilities that were being constructed or rehabilitated in informal settlements in Nairobi City County in the last two financial years. And two, provide the status reports on the completion and operationalization of each of those health facilities indicating the respective costs of construction or rehabilitation. Mr. Speaker, on the same standing order, I wish to seek for a statement from the Standing Committee on Roads, Transport and Housing on the status of operation of the Green Park terminus and the upgrade of the Uhuru, Uhuru Park and Central Park uh, areas in Nairobi City County. In the statement, Mr. Speaker, I would like that we establish the cause of the delay in the operationalization of the Green Park terminus that was set to commence in May 2022 in Nairobi City County. And two, explain the reasons for the non-completion of the upgrade of the project for Uhuru Park and Central Park that commenced in September 2021 and state the budgeted cost of the project and indicate the amount spent on the project so far. And finally, state when the bus terminus will be operationalized and the park project completed. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I rise also on the same standing order to seek for a statement from the Standing Committee on Finance and Budget on the status of the 16 billion, 16 billion pending bills that were incurred by the Nairobi Metropolitan Services in the last two years. In the statement, Mr. Speaker, the committee should provide a comprehensive report on the pending bills accumulated in Nairobi City County in the last two years, indicating the amount owed to the respective service providers and the financial year in which the pending bills were incurred. Two, Mr. Speaker, the committee should state where, whether the Nairobi Metropolitan Services adhered to the procurement law in procuring the goods and services, providing details of whether the projects were tendered for and who won and what were the awarded tenders. And finally, indicate the plans, if any, put in place by the Nairobi City County Government to ensure that all contractors owed money by the county are paid before the end of the current financial year. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Those uh, three statements are so referred to the relevant committees.